Hey everyone, Tim again, Tim's ComputerFix.net. In this video, I'm going to give a bit of a rundown of Malwarebytes TechBench toolset. Now, this is a portable application that Malwarebytes has come up with. It's sort of a one-stop shop for any technician, computer technician out there who wants to uh, troubleshoot computers, diagnose them, and remove viruses. Uh, it's a pretty nifty little tool here, and I figure I would uh, give you a little review on it. Uh, Malwarebytes is, is no way paying me to do this. This is just a tool that I would that I came across, and I figured I would give a little uh, a little review on it, or at least show you guys what it's all about. Now, there's two different types. If you go to their site, uh, malwarebytes.com/techbench, you'll see you'll have two options here to gain access to this program. One of them is uh, the basic. You get a 15-day free trial of the tool set itself, which is, you know, if you just want to try it out, it might be a good place to start. You'll also get five Malwarebytes licenses for Windows, Mac, and Android, and they're not for resale. So that's pretty good. I mean, you get five free licenses just for trying out the TechBench program. And a couple of other things you see here. Well, you really want to dive into it, basically, is $349 a year for the TechBench program advanced. And so what you get with this, everything that's included here, except you get a year's version of the tool itself, your portable malware scanner, anti-bundleware, and you get uh, Windows Issue Scanner, which is Malwarebytes uh, program that they've come up with that does a pretty good job of detecting issues with your computer. And we'll look at that in a minute. You will also get your five Malwarebytes licenses, not for resale. But the big thing here is the 25 resellable Malwarebytes premium license. $1,000 value. You more than make your money back when you resell these licenses. Phone and email support, of course. Early access to some of their new products, and uh, you get uh, full support in their tech form also. So, when you apply for this and everything goes through, you'll get an email. And in that email, you will have uh, all of your information and your licenses and things like that. And then you will also download, they'll give you a download link to the zip file that holds the TechBench folder. You just unzip that. We'll go in here and have a look. Now keep in mind, this is a portable application. So you can take this to any of your computers that come through your shop and run it. And you're going to be able to do this exact same thing here I'm doing, I'm showing you now. And that's really going to help in aiding in troubleshooting, diagnosing, repairing, and cleaning out computers at your shop. Okay, so right here, the very first thing that it opens up to is an information page of the computer that you have this, or that you're running this tool on. As you can see, it shows everything from your operating system, you see what your Windows update is looking like, you can open up your device manager. You can open up your services page. Uh, it's all right there, one click. Um, these are things that you can do from within Windows, but the TechBench makes it a lot easier. And then you get the hardware breakdown of everything. You can see how many gigs of RAM you have, what video card you're running, processor, motherboard, all that easily accessed. Your disk drives, I have some that are filling up here, but that's not uncommon for me. It shows all of the drives and gives you access to them, shows you how full they are. So just a quick basic look at the computer off the bat, just opening the program. Then in, you go down to applications, it's going to show you uh, what your default browser is and you'll be able to have quick accesses to all the other uh, information when it comes to your programs and features. The programs and features itself 
obviously you can go there and see what's installed on your computer uh, application crashes that's pretty good that just opens up uh, the event viewer and gives you a list of all of the errors that you have in there uh, when your windows features i think this is a pretty cool little shortcut so that way you can turn on and off some windows features if that's what you need to do and it's going to show you how many times your uh, any application on your computer has hung up uh, and i think that's pretty pretty nice little bit of information there security here uh, you can turn on and off your user account controls or check the status of it your windows firewall obviously real quick you can just change your firewall settings here and windows defender it just gives you the status of how it is and then and then this will just give you uh, a list of any other anti-virus programs that are running on your computer network gives you a nice uh, layout here of all your network adapters and some configuration uh, areas we can go to but I like this one here network discovery uh, just a real quick hit on that and it's going to scan your network and it's going to give a list of everything that is connected to your network and not only will it give you a list of everything that's on your network it will also allow you to ping anything on your network so for instance this printer here will ping that and and it pinged it just fine so uh, pretty nifty little networking tool there built into this I like that close that off um, shows you your status you can check your proxy settings here um, shows you what uh, folders are being shared on this particular computer and it gives you your host file you can open up that this shows you all the network adapters that you have available on the computer uh, so it'll give you a list of that that looks pretty good and a little bit of the history there you got your system restore that you can open up any shadow copies you have it'll show here boot history it'll show you how quick you're booting how quick the computer's booting it'll also give you a little explanation if there's any uh, unexpected shutdowns here crash history crash dumps pretty cool real quick access to that system events which is your event monitor there and usb history which is pretty nice it'll show you what usbs have been plugged into the machine previously in case you're trying to track that down so let's get over to the let's let's move over to the toolbox here let's do that and the toolbox is my tools and in here you have my tools editor so in here you're able to add any tools that you want to add to what's already in this tool set so here you just browse for the tool say for instance you have a program on the computer that um, lets you know how much drive space that you have or breaks it down for you like a program like tree size you can browse to tree size the exe on your computer of where that tool is and uh, it will it will add it to your custom my tools editor so that's pretty nice here's where you of course update your tool set here and then under the protect icon here of course you can download malwarebytes you can download malwarebytes for firefox which is their nice little uh, beta extension that they have or Chrome and then you have a the I guess this is the uninstaller the master uninstaller in case you have any issues uninstalling any of Malwarebytes products the remediate icon some of your basic ones that you you'll recognize here ADW cleaner you can run that straight from this tool 
an anti-root kit you can run on your computer here that'll check for root kits uh, you can run malware bytes in command prompt here in case there's a reason why you need to do that this is like a decrapifier I guess you could call it this malware bytes made this one this is command line malware bytes removal scan if you want to partake in that and this will let you launch Windows Defender offline you re reboot your computer and Windows Defender will scan offline which may be handy if something on your computer is preventing Windows Defender from scanning your computer hit the repair icon here and these are all your basic repair tools that you can pretty much run from command prompt but they give it to you here nice and simple click on each one and you can run an FFC uh, here's pretty cool you can uh, click this to run the Windows recovery um, when Windows loads so basically you hit that and on your next reboot you know you'll boot up into your into your recovery mode here I like that that's pretty awesome your network reset windsock reset you can enable your legacy f8 boot menu pretty nice operating system tools icon all of your basic tools that we us techs use command prompt you can go right to your device manager you can access this part right away open up your registry your computer management your disk management event viewer services manager uh, all of the basic uh, items that are available there usually in Windows they have it all in one little quick place just to click on a file explorer of course uh, App Store Windows update all that good stuff so that's so they all bundle that pretty nicely here for you all in one place so let's go over to the scan tab here so this is Malwarebytes portable scan this is basically the scan that technicians normally run with Malwarebytes but it's of course conveniently located here and if you click on this gear you're going to be able to uh, edit your scan and then you want to go ahead and update those definitions before you run it you can do a custom scan or a full scan or what have you and then uh, this is the big one from from Malwarebytes uh, it's, it's pretty nifty tool here and uh, this is if you have issues with your with the computer you're on and, and you want to get a quick breakdown of any issues that, that, that they have or the computer has and this will give you a breakdown of any issues that the computer may have so let's go ahead and run this and take a quick look at that uh, it doesn't take too long to run I don't think I guess it depends on several things but we're going to see here what kind of issues that this program detects on this particular computer should take too long that was pretty quick that was 19 seconds okay and it didn't find many errors here but of course we all know my disk space is low so it kinda shows you that and then it uh, a couple of other issues shared access I'm not too worried about that uh, and then there's a VMware issue I'm not too worried about that so I did pretty good but it, it does more than what it shows here because if you go to view report these are really all the things that it checks for uh, WHEA is the Windows hardware error architecture so that checks all of your hardware and event logs in there your device manager it checks everything in there printers network checks everything in your network registry checks all your registry stuff file associations checks all that to be sure that's in order handlers and extensions group policies it checks everything in your group policy to be sure that's all in order and then your Windows update it checks to be sure your Windows update is running properly your WinSock 
so Windows installer so it checks quite a few things quite a bit of things to be sure everything is in order there on the computer you're running this on so I kind of like this little issue scanner it's pretty nice you can copy that summary to clipboard what have you but yeah pretty nice there so let's go to the settings tab here and this will tell will let you choose whichever screen you want to launch from uh, I like to go to the information page the inform page first when it opens up just to give me a rundown of the basic ideas of what computer I'm on and what's in it um, this uh, will here will allow you to send statistics to malware bytes and then here you could create a password for your malware bytes tool set so no one has can gain access to that keep it private your license key and your expiration date is here and your type of license yeah so that about wraps it up for this program uh, I personally think is is pretty good it's not bad at all I think it gives a few other things that some other tools similar to this may not uh, the interface is really nice pretty good like I say I think this is a great tool just to run on each computer that you have uh, in your shop to kind of run through and give a quick analysis of everything to make your job simpler uh, the one thing I do not see on this that I'm a little disappointed with is any uh, unattended scans or anything uh, and it only of course is using Malwarebytes uh, tools so this is the Malwarebytes tool set. Head on over to Malwarebytes.com forward slash techbench and have a look there to read more on it or try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Tim from Tim'sComputerFix.net. We got some more videos coming your way. Hit down and hit that like button. How about that, huh? Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, everyone. See you soon.